Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel, Big John with J Custom Builds. I'm gonna touch base a little bit on some stuff that I got going on with my brother-in-law's uh, soft tail. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, touch base on the giveaway. We're down to 98 now, so it's going down. And you know, the weather is gonna start getting nice. We've been dealing with a lot of overcast and the sun comes out a day or a little bit during the day and it goes right back in. So anyways, enough of that. So today I'm gonna be removing the oil tank on my brother-in-law soft tail. I've already started it, you know, like last week and I didn't, I wasn't recording my apologies, but I'm gonna go ahead and give uh, an update of what I've taken off, what I've done and what we're going to do. So let's get into it. So what I'm going to do right now is uh, I'm going to make sure that there's no other fluid in this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and drain this really quick and uh, I'll get right back with you guys. I just want to get a pan underneath here. Okay, guys. So before we actually get started, I took the uh, dipstick tube out and I found that there was that tank still half full. So not all of it leaked out. So down here, I don't know if you guys can see but there is a 5 8 bolt right there. And I'm gonna be taking that bolt out. That is the drain bolt to this hose right here. All right, so let's take that off first. Once you uh, break it free, it's easy to come off with your fingers, but this one's kind of inside. And there goes the, there goes the oil. So the oil is pretty dirty and here's the plug and here's a little o-ring you always want to somebody put some some thread uh, uh what is that stuff called um teflon tape like a plumber's tape but you can see that the o-ring is gone that's probably one of the reasons why it was leaking that o-ring is pretty bad so we're going to replace that o-ring and uh we're gonna let that drain really, really good. I don't want to, I'd rather let all the oil go into that rather than going into, you know, all over the motor. So you get just like a little pick here and watch your fingers and you take it off just like that. Make sure you don't poke yourself. Yeah, this thing's, this thing's bad. It's like pinched and I mean, there's really nothing left to it. So we'll clean this off real good so that we can get that back on there. But in the meantime, I'm gonna start while that's draining. I'll stick this down in there. While that's draining, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start taking all the bolts off the top. So I'll go ahead and position you guys so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Can you guys see the little guy over there in the sun? We haven't had sun like this in so long, so he's just soaking it up. So I'm gonna take these bolts off that are back here. So there's two that are actually a 3 16 3 16 uh, Allens. So I'm gonna take these two off that are here that I could barely see. They're not even tight. And this is just to hold, not only to hold the tank, but it's this bracket right here hangs on to this. guys is way here huh so I got those these two out and then I believe the others are like a half inch let me see yep they are so those are half inch let's take those out you guys can see here all right there's that one 
and the other ones are on the top here so i need to move some stuff out of the way really quick you can see one right there see it and then there's another one right next to it you can tell which ones go up here there the four of these bolts are the same but these are shorter the other ones in the back are longer so the tank's already wanting to uh to fall down it's already loose so there's really nothing holding it anymore yeah, there's really nothing holding it anymore. Let me see if I need to take that out. There is the positive that you actually have to stick underneath. And you just gotta remember to put that put that back when you get it in there. And uh, the only thing holding it now are the lines. So I'm actually gonna crimp this line right here. See this little tab? Um, break it free. So these are the stock tabs that you actually just need a tool, right? These are the stock ones that come and they just, uh, there's a special tool that you uh, can crimp those on with. Now let's get a screwdriver. And these guys right here, these are just covers. And so you kind of just want to get a screwdriver, be careful, you don't scratch anything, and then you can just kind of move them back, slide them back. And then there's two little plastic pins that you squeeze and they just slide right out. See them? You just squeeze this little tab right here and it slides right out. One right here doesn't want to doesn't want to budge. There it is. It's just really rusted in there too. You can see all the. Can you see all the rust in there? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to clean that up. Let me get a rag. Yeah, I just had to be forced out. those you just leave there I'll show you what they look like so these right here are just the covers and you can see these little tabs you just pinch them and you can see how bad that is in there look at that and so the tank it's ready to come off now i'm gonna have to crimp this hose that's down here the same as the one that I just crimped. Got that one off. All right. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this line off. So I'll just put this here. There's no way that you're not gonna be able to do this without having something leak you know so all these tie wraps right here got to come out because these wires got to be lifted out so just got to make sure that you that you put them back Anything that you unplug, make sure you plug it back in. So I gotta disconnect these wires right here. So I'm just gonna push that one down, push it out. That one's out. And then this one. All right. So that's the alarm. This is his uh, security alarm that came off. I'm gonna have to 
take this off. Put it in the box. Come on, baby, don't strip. So there's a bar that it comes from the bottom. And it's, uh, I'll show it to you guys. Okay, there we go. Can't remember. Okay, there we go. So this is what you want to do if you ever have to take the, uh, the starter out. Hung up on that, on that wire thing there. I'll let that leak for now. So that's gonna be a bear to get back in. It's all good, man. This is good because now I get to I get to clean all this up in here. I gotta clean all this stuff too. I'll clean it up really good before I get it back in. Let's put that up there now. Put that up there. And let's let's pull this line out. Still leaking a little bit. So here's the line. If you guys can see it, <laughs> look guys, the line is, you see it? Can you guys see that right there? That's where it was leaking from, right there. So I'll set that right there and I'll, I'll take a picture of that and I'll send it to my brother-in-law or take a quick video so he can see. So, you know, I would not have been able to see that, you know? I mean, I could have if I would. You see how hard that, how hard it is to get to that line, right? Let me just wipe these off. You know what's cool about this, you guys, is I got the line, so I can get the line and turn around and uh, and put this right back in the bike. So here's the line. And here's where it was actually cracked. So, and when you do stuff like this, you guys, you know, take an opportunity to, you know, just to wipe stuff off and clean stuff up that you, you know, you normally can't get to, you know, like this transmission cover right here. And uh, this bracket right here, all it does is hold the coil and it goes right back in there. So we'll worry about, we'll get that back in there after, after we get his uh, oil tank back in there. And I'll show you guys where the tear is. Can you guys see that? That's where his oil was leaking and that's why they wanted to charge him like a thousand dollars to replace that. So let me go ahead and uh, take this off. This is actually how they put them in. There's a tr crimping tool that crimps them like this. All right, I was able to set the camera up for you guys. So now I'm just gonna take this off. Best thing to do is just twist them. And they just come off like that. Hey Jess, so I had to take your tank off and this is where all your oil is going. See that? See that hole right there? I thought there was more than one hole, but there's not. That's it. Just got old. So I cleaned up the tank a little bit, guys. This hose is pretty hard. So I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna go to the parts store and see if I can find a, a hose like this one. This one's just really hard. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the new the new hose on there for now. Um, I think I'm going to use just regular, you know, like hose clamps, I think, you know, these ho this hose is really, 
here's the new one. And you can see how they're very, very soft. And I'm afraid they like even pressure all the way around. So I might end up just uh, going to Harbor Freight's right behind me. And they have the same clamps and the same tool. So I might just go grab that so that I can get it. So I don't know if I'm going to call it a day, guys. But if I do, I really enjoy working on these bikes and, you know, making videos for you guys and trying to show you guys pretty much how to do this stuff so you could do it on your own. I know there's a lot of people that really want to uh, learn how to wrench and learn how to work on their own bikes. And it, believe it or not, guys, it's amazing when you work on your own bike. It really is. I mean, you feel so good. This stuff is really, really easy to do. The first time usually takes you a while. Um, this is the first time I've taken off a tank like this. So, you know, it did take me I mean, not long. I figured I'd have it off in like half an hour. It was more like 45 minutes. You know, I just ran into a little problems with, you know, the wires that are down here. You have to pretty much disconnect. And this sits inside. This sits inside of the tank. And the tank kind of wraps around. And this bracket right here, the coil bracket, I could have had it out if it wasn't for that. So instead of taking half an hour, it took me more like 45 minutes to take it out and so i'm going to pour some gas in here because i did um i did clean inside of there i'm going to spray some gas and just in it um and just wd-40 and kind of just clean it up a little bit and then i'm going to rinse the tank out two or three times with gas just to make sure there's no debris in there and i'll blow it all out so and then i'll put it back in and i'll fill it up so other than that you guys have a great rest of your day and uh Thank you for watching. Always remember to ride safe. Take care in everything you do, and God bless. Love you guys, man. Jay Custom Builds.